For all seven of you who are interested, here's a quick Mustang update. It is February 2019. It's very cold outside here in Wisconsin, so I'm trying to do everything I can do for this engine swap indoors, all the prep work that I can possibly do. I ordered some used frame mounts, and I soaked them in Metal Rescue and painted them with a high temp primer and a high temp silver, just a Rust-Oleum I got at Home Depot. And when I did this, the fumes went through the HVAC system and it got real stinky here for my family. So I decided spray painting in the basement is probably not a good idea. So for my next project, which was this cool California Emissions 289 1965 air cleaner, I cleaned it up at home and I took it to my friend's body shop and I painted this air cleaner with Duplicolor DE1603 Universal Gold. And the snorkel here, I think it's a Duplicolor DE1663 Black. Now, before I go any further, just so you know, my restoration style is kind of somewhere between concourse and screw it. So I'm not going for perfection, I'm just trying to make it look nice and do a DIY job. And here's a little oil cap I did. All right, so let's talk about these hubcaps. I painted them by hand. I used this Sign Painters One Shot 199L paint. It's black. I got it on Amazon. It was like $14. Now, after I bought this, I found out that they also make a pinstripers paint, which is probably what you'd want to use. This worked out fine, though. And I used this brush pack I bought from Michael's Crafts. It was like 8 bucks. And yeah, there are a couple brushes in there that worked out really well for me. So before you paint your hubcaps, what you want to do is wipe them down with something like alcohol or lighter fluid or acetone. I used acetone because I had some. So, you know, take a microfiber rag and wipe them down. And then after you do that, what I did was I painted the centerpiece here first, right there. And that's really easy to make right. All you have to do is paint it kind of almost haphazardly. You can go out of the lines if you want to, and when you're done, just take your rag and wipe along the edge when the paint's wet, and you've got a perfect line. It works out really well. The problem is these little slots right here. I mean, those are really difficult to get right. Uh, so I did two coats. On the first coat, I was very careful to stay in the lines and I was trying to wipe the wet paint that I got anywhere outside the lines and that didn't work out too well. I discovered I needed a second coat and I developed a technique that worked pretty well to get any of this paint off of any place you don't want it and this is how I did it. I used my fingernail on my index finger, acetone, and a microfiber rag. So here's a little section I'm zoomed in on. I'm going to try my best to keep this camera still. I'm going to take my rag, put some acetone on it. And I moved it. I hope it's okay. Try that. Okay, now, with my fingernail, with the rag between my fingernail and the hubcap, I'm just going to try to reestablish that line. It works pretty good. I go back and forth sometimes a little bit, and, but it takes it off that chrome pretty nice. Now, if you find that your rag is getting clogged because you're putting a lot of paint on it, let's get some more acetone. Kind of change your position on the rag and get some more acetone. It's pretty thick on this side, so might have to do that a few times. but it really helps clean these up and again I mean my restoration style is somewhere between concourse and screw it so this is not perfect these hubcaps were not perfect to begin with but I thought they'd be nice just for drivers and this is a heck of a good way to clean them up again one coat of paint on these just doesn't seem to do it you gotta do two and the staying within the lines I mean you gotta really have a steady hand and here I am a guy who's had a stroke I don't have that steady of a hand to, to paint that well I lost my dominant hand but I do okay I can use chopsticks and stuff 
but uh, yeah, it works out pretty good. Now you might notice there's some black on the underneath. You just kind of do the same thing. You get under it with your fingernail and go back and forth and clean that line up. Okay, I'll do a better job once I reposition it, but once you have it all cleaned up, we'll just hit this bottom part again. I got some paint on there that's bugging me. Once you have it all cleaned up, up and down, like this, what you can do is just go up the sides real simple like this to clean up the sides. It's really easy. So bring your paint line all the way to the end and just do that. And it works pretty darn good. And when you're all done, you'll have something that looks less like this. And, see if I can pull this off. More like this. It's not perfect. Not even kind of. But, for me, it's pretty good. So, that's it. That's what I've been up to. And I hope my video helps somebody give you some ideas on how to do these hubcaps. I couldn't find a video on YouTube showing how to do this, so maybe my little Mustang blog will get some traffic with that. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.